After the Prison Litigation Reform Act, or PLRA, was passed in 1995 as part of then-Speaker of the House Newt Gingrich's contract with America, the number of prisoner lawsuits filed in federal courts dropped significantly despite an ever-increasing prison population. This decline was related to the numerous PLRA requirements prisoners had to meet before their lawsuits could proceed. In Jones v. Bach, the United States Supreme Court addressed the proper application of one of those requirements. Congress passed the PLRA in an effort to stem the perceived rising tide of prisoner civil rights claims flooding the federal courts. One key PLRA requirement was that a prisoner exhaust prison grievance procedures before filing suit in federal court. In response to the PLRA, the United States Court of Appeals for the Sixth Circuit and other lower federal courts adopted various procedures to implement this exhaustion requirement. One of the procedural rules the Sixth Circuit adopted was that exhaustion was a pleading requirement that must be asserted and demonstrated in a prisoner's complaint. Lorenzo Jones was a prisoner incarcerated in a Michigan Department of Corrections, or MDOC, facility. While in custody, Jones was injured in an automobile accident. Several months after the accident, Jones was assigned work he believed he couldn't perform due to his injuries. When he reported for work, he was told to do the work or suffer the consequences. Jones attempted to work and allegedly aggravated his injuries. Jones unsuccessfully filed a grievance pursuant to the MDOC grievance process. Jones then filed suit in federal district court, alleging, among other claims, deliberate indifference to his medical needs. The district court dismissed the case because Jones failed to plead exhaustion in his complaint. Jones appealed to the Sixth Circuit, which affirmed the dismissal. Jones then appealed to the United States Supreme Court, which granted cert to resolve lower court issues over application of the PLRA exhaustion requirement.